Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am storing photo cards. As you can see, I have a lot more than the first storing photo cards videos I did. I think I have like 150 to 200 cards today, which is to me a lot. This is a lot. Um, we will be completing some collections today. I have one very valuable card in here as well as we are starting a new collection. So we have a lot of fun things today so let's just go ahead and start okay let's start with the collections i'm completing today okay so i am completing my la seraphim binder which from the last video i have separated g idol and la seraphim and i made a new cover for the femmies which i think this cover is so cute so yeah there is not a lot of cards in here there's really only four pages but you know that gives them room to grow so i already have uh i'm fearless done but we are now going to complete anti-fragile which has been a long time coming oh my god okay so the heart one which this card took me the longest to find out of all of these and i know that like la seraphim is such a hard group to collect they're so expensive and i almost can never find anything but i'm just happy that i was able to actually find some trades like cross trades and i was able to buy a few of these um for a good price and now we're finishing unforgiven to the last card i needed cowboy Unche. i don't know why especially because Unche, i i would think is the easiest member to like collect out of all the seraphim struggled so much to find this card but it's finally here and i am just so happy the seraphim is complete right before their next comeback which is so nice now i do have a little extra stuff today so this is like my extra page and i got their like trading packs so i these are my pulls which i'm so happy i did not pull a concept card i got all selfies and me thinks these are some of the cutest cards okay i pulled some of the cutest ones so we have this unche which we're gonna put her up right next to this other one which i love how these kind of match in colors and then i have taewon and yunjin so i'm just gonna put them down here which i love the little like tennis sporty outfits i love them so much so those are just gonna go back here on the extra page so just a little flip through of my small Unche collection. It looks so nice complete. So that is La Seraphim. And now let's move on to the next binder I will be completing today. Okay, as I just previously mentioned, I split G Idol and La Seraphim into their own binders because I do plan on collecting more for Soyan this year because she is one of my ults and I enjoy collecting some non-album stuff so I plan on expanding this which is why I put them into separate binders. But today I am completing her regular album collection and I'm so excited so let's just go to it. So I was only missing this last I burn card is this one right here. Oh my god I'm so excited to be completing this page. <gasps> Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, shit. Okay, moving on to I Love. We have the rest of the cards for this one as well, which is also so exciting because I had been missing all of her jewel case cards. The jewel case cards for G Idol are so hard to collect, collect because you only get one out of 15 cards, and it's just, they're so hard to find. And it w I was just struggling with every jewel case card they've ever done, but. I finally found the last jewel case cards I needed. So we have the ACT version, which I actually found the trade for this one, surprisingly. And then this one, if you watched my Neo Kyo unboxing, this was in that. And then I have the last one that I also got in Neo Kyo, from Neo Kyo, I mean, which look at that that looks so satisfying oh my god and then we get to skip past this page and we're completing this page as well 
which if I thought the last page was hard, this page was even harder. Oh my god, I'm just so happy to have this complete. These cards were so hard to find because like the other ones, you only get one out of 15 and it's just crazy. But I have the queen jewel case version, which is going to go up here because I think her smile is so pretty in this. I love her. And then I have the cat jewel case, which I bought an extra jewel case version and I pulled her. So exciting that I have this. Oh my god. <gasps> that already looks so nice. And then we have this photo book version, which I got from Neokill. And then I bought this. If you saw my like collective haul, I got this from Bunjang. Literally bought this from Korea and shipped it by itself because I couldn't find this anywhere on any any other site. So I maybe paid a little bit more in fees and shipping for like this card, but it was worth it because look how cute this is. So this finally completes I Feel. Oh my god. We're also completing Heat, which I have her Digipack card. And that's just going to go right down here and... Wow, look at that. Everything is complete for Soya now. This is so crazy. I'm honestly surprised at how quickly I was able to do her collection. Oh my god. Okay, now I have a bunch of like non-album items that I've been kind of collecting over time because I do want to collect her pobs and like non-album stuff. So the first thing I need to find it in here is her I Never Die Make Star card. I don't know why I just said card like that, but that's going to go right up here. Okay, I'm not sure if this is Make Star 4, but I'm going to put it down here because I know it's a Make Star. I just don't know which round it is. All of these are Make Stars and I have another Make Star on the other page, so I'm not really sure, but we're going to put the lucky draw card over here then the Tao card which is like the cutest card and look at the back the back is so pretty and then KM station I always want to say KMS station but the S stands for station so <laughs> KM station look at that and look at the backs wow I might like end up rearranging depending on how I like the backs but for now it's there Okay, so Make Star 2. I'm going to hope that this is Make Star 2. It's the butterfly version. Bushia, which I am so butchering that name, but it's this one, which I was really surprised that it was like in bigger dimension. And also, if you look, I think this card is so funny because her contact is falling out of this, of this eye and you can see it and it looks so funny to me. She's still pretty, she still slays, but the contact kind of, like, kills me. I didn't even notice when I bought it that, like, in that picture, her contact is, like, coming off. I was like, why is her eye, like, like, why does her eye not look right? And then the Star River Pola. This one is the Star River Polaroid. And then the Star River Pob, which is the cutest. I can't believe I found this for a good price. This one always goes for so expensive, or at least from what I've seen. And then this is the Tower Records Shibuya. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that one's going to go here. And then the last one, which is not a POV, is her SBS attendance card for Inkigayo, I'm pretty sure. So that is everything. And look at the backs. Oh my god. But that is G out of finish. Okay, so I think we're going to go to CB1 next. Okay, so here is my ZB1 binder, which I'm basically like completing most of him today, but the, I'm still missing a few cards from like group orders and things. So, okay, so we will be completing his pods for Youth in the Shade. Well, I collect nine pods for each era. So for me, I will be completing him, but this is Namal, which I've had this one on hand for the longest time and I've been wanting to put it away but that one's gonna go right there and then this is Soundwave Apple Music I don't know but this is a lucky draw it's like in the same set as this one so I'm gonna put it right up there so now we have 
finally completed Youth in the Shade. So nice. And now we get to complete uh, Melting Point, which is so nice. Okay, so these are all his album cards. So where did I put... Okay, so the two Digi packs. I'm guessing this is the Dark Room one. This one's going to go up here. Oops. And then the school uniform, which I think this one is so cute. I love him in this photo card. Oh my god. Okay. And then the cheek poke and... Okay, so this is the cheek poke and the peace sign. I honestly already forgot which version's which, especially because the backs are just like so similar. So this one will go here. And then this one will go up here. And then the fairy tale version, I'm guessing, is this version. Because this is like my favorite card. So, of course, I'd put it in the middle. And then these two, the plain hoodie. Okay. So, this one's going to go here. And this one's going to go right there. So, here is. Oh, this one's already crooked. Hold on. Okay, so here is Melting Point Complete, which I just realized this wasn't really in the center. Sorry about that. But look at that. That is so nice. Okay, now we get to do all of his pobs, which I'm still missing two pobs, one from a group order and one I just never got. So yes, okay, Make Star. Where's Make Star? Okay, Make Star Rabbit Blanket, which is this one. It's gonna go right up here. The Music Plant, stuffy one, which is just one of the cutest cards he did this era. So cute with, oh wait, no, this is, okay, the Olive Young octopus smile the smiley version and then the pouty version is going to go opposite so i kind of did like the odd ones out in the middle and then the ones that kind of look cohes cohesive with each other on the sides because both of these he's wearing like red capes which is why i'm putting those there okay this is the k-town hat the regular version so this one's going to go there and then the Lucky Draw, which for some reason, I love these pops so much. I normally hate when like artists just do like a plain like white wall. Like when they're on like a plain white wall for some reason. I like when they have like interesting colorful backgrounds. But oh shit. So usually I don't like it when artists do that. But for some reason, these are my favorite, even though... He's like on a plain white wall. So yeah, I'm still missing these two. Okay, I do have some non-album stuff for him today. Uh, okay, Bring Green China, which is this one. And I just kind of collect random stuff for him. So a lot of these like aren't complete sets. And then these are the ZB1. I think these are from FanCon or from like, the FanFest or something, but... These are the photo card holders, so I'm going to put this one in the middle because he's so beautiful. And as I just said, I love when they're like, they have interesting backgrounds and I love outdoor photo cards. Then I have this one. And then I'm still missing this light stick PC, but I was able to find a trade for my Matthew Pola for this one. And so he is going to go right there. Ooh, look at that. Oh. I love to see this complete. Okay, so my group orders for their season greetings still have not finished, but I do have all of their uh, fan kits because I got their fan kit and I wanted to store them in here because I thought it would just be really pretty. So here's June and then how, which I love these fan kit sets. I love the outfits they're in and then Hanbin. And also, I apologize for the glare that may happen because I have one of those in this room. I have one of those, like, old, like, school lights, the long ones you see in school today. And it causes, like, a really bad glare. Matthew, which, his is so cute. Today and Matthews are my favorites. I don't know why. They're just so pretty. Ricky. Ricky, as always, serving face. Guvin. Gunnook, which... Okay, I know I just said Tate is my favorite, but of course, I love Gunung's card. Oh my god. And then, last but not least, Yuchin. So that is everything I had to put away for ZB1. I'm still missing just a few cards, but for the most part, everything is complete. Wow, look at that. We're doing 
like a lot of completions today. So that's really nice. Okay, we'll be moving on to NCT next. Okay, so not much has changed in my NCT binder since the last time you guys saw it. But today we get a skip over Heitan as he is complete. Oh wait, actually, no. I have some stuff to put away on this page. So I joined a group order for their fact check PCs and I got, or their fact check trading card set. And I got his gift PC and his, one of his white or black trading card PCs. So these are just going to go right back here. Ooh. Okay, that looks really nice. So we finally have a little bit more on this page. He's not all alone. But now we get to go to Doyoung. I have the most cards for Doyoung today. So let's move on to this page. So this page is still not complete. These two. So I'm going to... I do not remember which one's the Digipack and which one's the Korean version. Yeah, we're going to do... No, we're going to do this one in the middle. And then we're going to do this one over here. So I'm only missing one of his SMC cards, but... For now, two baddies is primarily done. Okay, and then I'm completing AO today, which, oh my god, these cards just took me so long to find for no reason. Okay, this is his SM mini card going in the middle. And then, oh, okay, so this is the B version. This one's going to go at the top, which I love this card so much. He's just so pretty. Oh, whale, whale. And then we have the A version. So here is AO complete. I think that looks really good. Okay, and I do have some perfume PCs. Everyone says that perfume's been really easy for them, but I don't know why I'm struggling with perfume for just no reason. Okay, the black turtleneck goes here. And then the blue jacket will go up here. And then ignore that this says SM Mini. We're not going to talk about that. And then the black shirt gets to go here. So I'm missing three, one card for each version. So three cards in total. Okay, and then we do have some really fun cards for fact check. Okay, so we have four. We have these two, which I have his Walmart PC. And then this is a paw. This may be K-Town. But I'm going to put the... Oops, I'm going to put these two in the corner. Or maybe actually I'll put these up top and then put the bottom five down here. Would that look really weird? Should I just put them in the corner? I'll put them in the corner for now because I don't know what else to do. Okay, we're going to do that. And then I don't remember which one's version is which, especially because I didn't label them, but I'm going to put this one in the middle row because it's cuter. Yeah, I'll put this one up here. So I'm only missing two cards for fact check. And I have not set up for Be There For Me yet, but that is okay. And now we get to move on to Hendry. I do have some Hendry cards today. So for this page only. So I completed Phantom, which is really nice. Okay, the red version going on top. A lot of these cards were in my Neo Kill haul. So <laughs> if you watch and remember, you probably have seen all of these cards before. Okay, and then I have these two on my youth cards so okay oh okay this is brown so i'm guessing because he's wearing this like brown leather vest and then the black one because he's wearing this really really cute yeah a really cute black shirt i this is new from if you saw my first store and card video i have put all their like group cards at the back because i just thought it would look nicer back here but it really shows how much I'm missing. <laughs> so I only have one card for Universe, which is this doughy card. And I'm missing so much Hendry. And then I only have one card for Golden Age, and we're not going to talk about it. It is the cutest card out of all the Golden Age cards, me thinks. So at least I have this one, but... Okay, so I forgot to put these three doughy cards away. So I just added a page really quickly and I'm going to add these back here. I do have other like non-album doyoung cards that I'll add later. I had them in like a separate, like my non-collecting NCT binder because I don't really collect like 
non-album stuff for him and I didn't really buy him but I ended up getting sorted Doyoung stuff so might as well just start a little page for him that's just what it's gonna look like for now but yeah so we are now done with NCT and we are going to move on to my new collection so fun so if you saw my Neo Kyo and collective haul you would know that I'm starting my Stacy collection but there's a change there's been a change um, I did say that I was collecting both Jay and Seun, but I bought those cards and I filmed those videos a long time ago. And since then, I've been wanting to downsize as a collection goal for this year. And I just thought that because Stacy is not as top of a group for me, I shouldn't be collecting two members, especially because it feels like Stacy has a lot of cards. So with that being said, I have dropped Jay. I just thought that because, you know, Stacey's not like a top, top group for me, that there wasn't really any point in me collecting two members. I really collect two members for anyone anyways, so... And I will be keeping some of my J cards because they're just really, really cute and it's hard to part ways with them, especially because I just got them this year, so... Yes, but with that being said, this is my stack of Stacey cards. Let me separate... This is my Stacey binder. I am doing like double-sided pink and then I have this and I have their little keychain thing and just a little, you know, extra back here, but nothing too special, but I didn't really know how to like set up for this. So it will be kind of, because every single time I want to put a card away, I'm going to have to pull the pink sleeve out and remove the tape. So I have the black wall one which is gonna go in this spot. And then I have the gray one. And then I have nothing for Statum because Statum has been really difficult for me to find. And I don't have anything for Stereotype besides these two cards. Now, because I wanted to collect her special, well, I already had her special card, but it's five cards for her special card plus her normal album cards. I decided to keep uh, Jay and Yoon because I had Yoon's previously. I pulled her in my album, so I just decided to keep all three pooks because this is my bias line. Uh, Jay, Yoon, and Seyun are like my top three in Stacey, which is... I just decided why not because I have my top three anyways. Why not just store them? Then here's Seyun's special card. But other than that, I have no <laughs> stereotype cards for Seyun, unfortunately. But moving on to Young Love, I do have Young Love complete. Okay, so here are the four. I'll be putting her AR card in this corner. I want to put her over here. And then this is the jewel case card, I'm pretty sure. So, But even if it's not, these two look really nice next to each other anyways so i'm gonna put them there and then i have her two regular album cards which oh i love these cards so much they're so cute and then this is my favorite seon card i don't know what it is but it's just about like the makeup the outfit the cloth her pose it's just she's so cute in this card so there is run to you complete oh my god that looks so nice and then I only have two cards for Weenie Love. Okay, so the orange one is going to go down here. And then the orange one, the red the red shirt, I mean. And then her, like, denim shirt is going to go up here, which, oh my god, I love her Weenie Love cards. <laughs> I love her Weenie Love cards. So cute. And then I don't really have anything for Teddy Bear besides this one and place that back. Yeah, I don't really know how else to do fillers for this, so it's a little inconvenient the way I did it, but it's just gonna have to be like that. And then I did get like an, um, from one of my K-pop stores, they gave me like a free teddy bear Seon card, so I'm just gonna put her down here. Even though she's not technically an album card, she's like like a merch PC, but I got it for free and might as well put her in the teddy bear set. So there's teddy bear. And then this is teen fresh. With teen fresh is basically almost completely 
done besides i don't have any of her u.s version cards so let's see okay what did i do uh the curled okay so the curled hair is going up here which i think i've mentioned this before in my other videos but her teen fresh cards are just so cute they're my absolute favorite she just is so pretty in this i mean the makeup and the curled hair oh my god she's beautiful so pretty in these cards and then this one is goes up here this is like really inconvenient <laughs> the way i set this up i don't know how else i could have done it i mean maybe i could have put like an extra filler in there but i don't know so that one's gonna go there <gasps> and then the sunset kind of looking card so pretty i think these cards are gonna look so cute with like a pink back on them wow okay and then this one is the last one which oh my god her hair looks so good in this the stylist really like did so good on her hair for this come this era her hair in these are so cute and then i have her two digipack cards Ooh. okay and then Okay, so that is Teen Fresh done. So this is a little flip through of my Seiyun collection. I think it looks so cute. Personally, I've never really like done an A4 binder before or like double sided my cards, but I think it looks so cute. I'm just gonna put some of my extra J cards back here because I cannot part ways. This is my Stacy collection so far. So I put a lot of work into the binder. I hope you guys think it's really cute. And yes, this is my new collection. And we are gonna move on to the biggest section I have for today, which is my Luna binder. So let's go. Okay, so here's my Luna binder, which again, I've kind of done some, oops, reorganizing. This is the stack of Luna cards we have today and there's some really exciting cards in here oh my god okay so we are gonna start with of course my main girly Hyunjin for like pre-debut I'm finishing her regular cards I have her last solo card I do plan on this year trying to get her limited cards but I know those are gonna be expensive to get so I haven't set up for it just yet but for now this page is complete and then we have two of her plus plus cards i have her regular card and then i have a little special card i didn't plan on collecting but i got it with my plus plus limited album and i decided just to store it because why not so this is the limited version which i'm just gonna put in there so i'm only missing this card i have the cat gin hash on the way so hash catch in and then guys we have hash gin finally guys like oh my god we finally have hash gin and so the moment is here i put her in cute little heart sleeves <gasps> oh my god oh my god we cheered guys we cheered this is now complete midnight is now complete i got one of our hardest cards to get out of the way so oh my god look at that that is so exciting oh my god okay now we get to move on to lucemble i am complete with her album cards except one of the ever music version is still on the way from one of my group orders so sadly i will not be able to actually like fully finish it in this in this uh video but yeah okay so we have the last space version card i needed which i do have two dupes of this now <laughs> i have two of these so that is okay and then i have her last wish versions the flower one and then the other like glass bottle one which her cards were so similar for this era getting like finding trades for some of them and the right ones were just oh my god especially these two oh my god 
The amount of times where I needed this card and the people offered me this one because they look so similar is, is so bad. And then we have this peace sign one. And then the last dream version card I needed. So here is her regular album cards complete. Oh, that looks so nice. Okay, now we have some of her Japanese cards, which I have two. I actually do have another hula hoop one on the way, but I didn't mark that one. Okay, I don't know which one's the Orbit and which one's the regular version. I'm just gonna put them like that because I can. I have reorganized this because I finally set up for hula hoop as I have one on the way. I'm still missing cat gin hula hoop, but that one's gonna be really hard to get. So I'm not even gonna think about that, but for now, this is my Japanese page. And then I have some non-album stuff to put away. Oh, okay, so this still hasn't arrived. I just realized this hasn't arrived yet, so I can't do anything with the pobs. So we have both of her on wave cards, which I'm gonna put the kissy one in the middle because this one is so cute. Oh my God. Personally, one of my favorite like non-album cards from her, she slayed in that photo. And then the second one. And then, oh, okay. This is the Luna, oh, the Lunaverse trading card. So we're gonna put that one here. And then I have her Orbit 4.0 card, which is so cute. So happy that I have this one. But yeah, as if you can tell, I have done some reorganizing. I have split up like pre-order benefits and then like non-album stuff into separate sections, so. And then this is just like extra pages. This is summer packages. And then I have back here like stuff that came in sets. So today I get to put away Hash, her Hash showcase cards, which is, I've been wanting to get these for so long. So we're gonna put this section because she has like two different outfits in we're gonna put these down here and then we're gonna put these three up at the top let's do it like this one two and three so here is hash finally complete oh my god that looks so nice and then i'm also completing her season greetings today um, I think this one comes first. I might have to switch these later, but I will be doing, how do I, how did I set this up? Cause I didn't put any fillers. I'm going to do it like this. I know it's not like the best ever, but yeah, I think this is her 2021 season greetings. I could be completely wrong. I honestly forget which years <laughs> each set is from, but here is one set complete. And then I have her last season greetings. I think this is, yeah, this is 2022. Yeah, so 2021, 2022. I'm gonna put these here, but I love these cards. The outfits for the season greetings are so cute. Oh my God, I love them so much. The headband, the outfits, and I said this before, but this exact photo card was my profile picture for such a long time. And I, I miss it. Maybe I should go back to having this as my profile picture. Okay, now we get to go to Lubopovs. I am so behind on Lubopovs, but I do have a good stack here. So this is the K-Town for you, the bunny hat one. And as if you know, and if you noticed, I have new like white sleeves because I kept running out of purple sleeves and I wanted to try out white sleeves because everyone else uses them. And I wanted to see how I like them. And they're much cheaper than my purple Ultra Pro sleeves. So I'm trying this out. But this is another K-Town K -Town for You set. But I don't remember where it's from. Like if it's like a fan sign or something. But And then I have this Everline version. Everline Pob. Hello Live Bunny Blanket. Okay, so here's the Hello Live Bunny Blanket card. That one's going to go there. Oh, Everline Blanket. This card is so cute. I love this one so much. <laughs> I can't believe I actually have it. That card was so hard to get. And then the Cat Ears one. And then the last one I have for today is this Make Star Princess set. So this is all I have for today, but 
I think that's like a pretty good start. I have some of her harder pops to get for the era. Yeah, and then I just have this like Lubel uh, set back here. Now, I think I've previously mentioned that I'm starting to collect my Bias Wrecker VV. Now that I'm getting close to completing Hyunjin for everything, I decided that it might be a good time to pick VV up. So I just have few cards for her this time around. I'm working on her ever so slowly. I'm really getting like one card a month. It's very, very slow, but we have her, one of her hash cards. That one's going there and that's all I have for this. So this one goes up here and then where does the other one go? Uh, uh, oh, okay. This one goes over here. So skipping to and I'm going to put this one up here. So yeah, I have a few more on the way. I've traded a few cards and I've bought a few, but for now I'm still missing <laughs> a good amount of Vivi cards, but I do have some for Lucemble. So for the regular versions, I have two of her space version cards which completes her set which is really nice love that and then i have one of her wish cards which i want to complete her wish set so much because the bow is so cute i also really do want her dream set because pink hat vivi is just so cute and then the only ever music version card i have is her egg version so 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 cute we are going to put this one over here. So that is all I have for Vivi today. Okay, now I get to almost complete my Odd Eye Circle collection. I'm only missing two so far. Okay, so I have all three of these. Okay, so the hand on the cheek one goes up here. This has been such a long time coming. I feel like so many people have already completed Odd Eye Circle, but I feel like I've been so behind but I'm so close to finishing, so close to finishing. Then there's the kissy one. This one is so cute. And then I have this like car one. I just call it the car because, you know, looks like she's in a car. I think she is in a car. So there is the first page complete. Oh my God, that is so exciting. So for this page, I'm still missing one cherry and one lip, but for the top row, I do have a cherry and a ginsel. So I am done with ginsel, which is really nice because she is my bias in Artemis. She is, I mean, it's really hard to pick like my bias line and Luna because I just love them all so much. But I feel like ginsel would be like a contender for like my number three, like my third bias in Luna. But she's definitely the person I will be collecting for Artemis. What am I doing? Oh, okay. So this one goes in the middle. Sorry. Okay, so this one goes in the middle and again we're just missing this one cherry card Ugh. and then i have these last two so the ginsel and then the last cherry which is so cute love the suit set and so yeah i do plan on collecting like ginsel's pobs for her but i'm gonna work on some of my other luna stuff first so Last page is done already. And then I do have some cards for Heejin. So I'm still missing two cards for her, but I have four. I have my poles and two that I bought slash traded. Okay. Her makeup and styling for this arrow was so good. So pretty. This card is going to go down here. And then I have the peace sign one, which is so cute. And that's going to go up in this corner. And then I call this like the cozy sweater version because it just, it like gives me very like autumn cottage vibes. I don't know. That's just what this photo card is giving me. And then I am going to put her two clear cards that I pulled in the corners. I'm not going to click the third one simply because I do not care to get it. And yeah, I just don't really want to. So those are going to go there. So that is everything that i have for artemis only missing those two cards and these two cards and then onto the last section of this binder chu so chu has been a long time coming my group orders are basically all finally finished so i got 
these two make star pods which are so cute i joined a go for these very spontaneously uh don't really know why i just was like yeah i just want these and for me personally she has some really cute sets but i love this one like the snow hat i'm happy i picked like this round to join because i love this card and i'm happy i got these two because these two are like my favorite out of the sets like look at her in this oh my god she is so cute now i do not have anything else for her ever music version because i just haven't like bought anything for the ever music version yet okay for the wind version i have these three which oh my god these cards are just the cutest ever so the bow hair card it's gonna go here and then my favorite chew card which is so cute is the blanket one i love this card so much i mean all of her cards for this era were just like the most adorable she was so good at taking photo cards and i'm so happy that she did like some of the cutest cards ever she just took some great selfies and then for the wave version i've also finished this so these are the last three cards i have and i also have a lot of dupes of these cards so if you want any i do have some on my instagram but there's that one the robot thing it's like a robot stuffy i don't really know what that is but that one will be going there and then the finger by the i1 is right there so that is finished look at that it just oh it feels so good to have like some stuff in for chew it had been so empty for so long my luna collections are going really well if i do say so myself the fact that i was able to find hashjin oh it's so exciting and i have catching on the way oh my god i'm just missing this one card for her like regular album pcs thank you guys so much for watching to the very end if you're here and i really really appreciate it so thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video so bye